and action. Here in this bleak, inhospitable environment, there is no life. Or is there? I'm your host, Buddy Pendergast. Me and the missus have travelled for more than a year to reach this desolate plateau with one question in mind. Can life exist even in these hostile conditions? Today, I'll risk my life to find out. Isn't that right, Ellie? It's been an adventure, buddy. Too right, and that adventure's just beginning. We're about to step outside this base. Whoa, it's so cold out here, we'd be human icicles if not for these special suits. Now we're going to bore through this ice and send Rover here underwater to search for signs of life. And who knows what amazing things we'll find down there. than a dingo's breakfast. No worries. I'll increase the pressure. Oh, are you getting this, Ellie? No worries, buddy. I think... We have our opening shot right here. Oh, oh, I don't like the looks of this. Come on! Activating the emergency beacon. Hang on, Ellie. We're going under. Tried contacting their base on all frequencies, but so far, no response. Buddy and Ellie Pendergast are missing? That's terrible! And who are they exactly? Only the greatest natural scientists of our time. Haven't you ever seen their show, Into the Unknown, with Buddy and Ellie? Could the mighty Megalodon shark still haunt these icy waters? Today, I'll risk my life to find out. Not sure I could classify them as scientists. But they do have a flair for the dramatic. Even though there's no response, their emergency beacon is still broadcasting. So they may still be alive. And what are we waiting for? We gotta rescue them! This is no ordinary rescue, Gordon. They're on Europa, the sixth closest moon to Jupiter. It's slightly smaller than our moon and is covered with ice. The average surface temperature is minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Europa also contains an ocean of water underneath its icy surface. If the Pependagas are somehow trapped in that ocean, you'll need special equipment to get them out. For starters, we should take Thunderbird 4. That means you'll go, Gordon. Yes! Maybe I can get their autographs. Oh, man. Why does Gordon get all the good missions? He won't be going in alone. Europa isn't exactly next door, so... You'll be in command from Thunderbird 3. Command from? You mean... We'd like you to take the lead on this mission, Alan. You'll be in charge. Don't worry, Scott. I won't let you down. Really? Alan's our best deep space pilot, and I want him to get more decision-making experience under his belt. You think he can handle it? I'll keep an eye on him. Temporary residence. The rover. 
Oh, you beauty, it's still intact! <sighs> She's got enough oxygen to last us a few more weeks. Don't worry, Els. Our adventure isn't over yet. take to reach Europa. And this baby? Hmm, not nearly as long as it took Buddy and Ellie, but we're still talking deep space. So, what do we do now, boss? Scott gave me an in-flight checklist. Plenty time for that. I've got a better idea. Binge watching. But what about the checklist? Locals report seeing strange footprints in the snow. Could it be the elusive, abominable snowman? Oh, yeah! Today, I'll risk my life to find out. Woohoo! Could it be the elusive Sasquatch? Yeah! Oh. The Loch Ness Monster? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh. The elusive giant rat of Sumatra? Yeah! Oh, how many of these do you have? Only 12 seasons. They haven't released the 13th yet. The elusive Chupacabra. <laughs> Approaching Europa and locking in on the emergency beacon. Oh, finally some real action. Switching to manual controls. <laughs> Who's that? A geyser! Hang on! Uh, incoming! You said you wanted some real action. Be careful what you wish for. We have touchdown. Free secure. There's just one problem. Huh? Where are the Pendergasts? Huh. According to the beacon, they should be here at this spot. Unless. Look! Brains was right! The signal is coming from under the ice. How far under? Ten miles. How are we supposed to get down there? According to these readings, the surface is extremely unstable. It appears the Pendergasts fell into a fissure that has resealed. If the Pendergasts are trapped underneath the surface, we'll need to drill down to them. Highly improbable, I'm afraid. That ice is harder than granite. You'll have to use Thunderbird 4. Thunderbird 4? Yes, I sent some special m modifications for it. Huh? For how long? Depth, three miles. Depth, four miles. <sighs> is it just me or is it getting toasty in here?
Depth, 9.5 miles. We made it. Now let's hope Buddy and Ellie did too. What's wrong? I never felt currents like these. Can barely maintain control. Brains? What's causing this? Those currents are caused by t tidal flexing. Jupiter's gravitational pull is so strong it causes Europa to squash and stretch as it orbits. That keeps the water in a c constant state of m motion. It's all very exciting. Maybe too exciting. What is the ice? There goes our heat bank. And our way home. Oh dear. Without that heat bank, the borehole could freeze over and you'll be trapped beneath the ice forever. How long do we have? About 10 minutes before the hole seals up. Then we don't have much time. Opening up to full throttle. I've got a lock on the Pendergast signal. Set a course. Heading 3, 2, 7. FAB. Almost there. Do you have a visual? There they are. This is International Rescue. Can you read us? Can we? We knew we'd find life down here, but we didn't think it'd be from Earth. Good to see you. You too. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Cheers, mate. As you can see, we're in a bit of a spot here. Prepare to evacuate. We're about to initiate docking. Close enough. Need to clear out some of that ice. There, that should. Whoa! Are you getting this, Ellie? No worries, buddy. Gordon, can you stabilize us? Uh, too much weight. If I try, I'll lose the Pendergasts. Do what you can. We'll have to dock manually. Are you nuts? That's too dangerous. Scott put me in charge. It's my call. Yeah! Of course, you could try to talk me out of it. It's all on you, little brother. Deploying emergency docking tube. Steady it? I'm trying. Docking complete. Pressurizing now. Open up. You're a sight for sore eyes, mate. Follow me. I don't know how long this seal's gonna hold. You don't have to tell us twice. Can't hold it much longer. rover absorbed most of the impact. I'm afraid it's toast. Sorry about that. Not exactly the first impression I wanted to make. No worries, mate. We're just grateful you're here. Brains, we've secured Buddy and Ellie. How much time do we have before the borehole freezes over? I estimate less than three minutes. FAB, step on it, Gordon. Wait! We can't leave yet. What? Why? We picked up some unusual readings nearby. It could be what we came to find. Life on another world. But there's no time. It's probably nothing. But what if it isn't? We could be the first human beings to see something extraordinary. Do you want to spend the rest of your life wondering what you missed? Scott would never consider risking our lives for something crazy like this. But you're not, Scott. He put you in charge. This is your decision, Alan. Look. The rating's getting stronger. All right. We've come this far. Might as well find out what's out there. That's the spirit. Gordon, set a course. Heading 173. 
I hope I don't regret this. Three thousand meters and closing. Do you have any idea what it is? No, but whatever it is, it's big. Really big. I see something, and it's... it's amazing. to Thunderbird 3 before the borehole freezes over. F.A.B. I'm detecting a lot of eruptions in the area. What's taking so long? Approaching the borehole now. Why are we stopping? We're too late. The hole's frozen over. And without the heat bank, there's no way to melt through it. Can't we just ram it? Look at how thick the ice is. We wouldn't have enough force to break through. Thunderbird 4 would get crushed. This is all my fault. I shouldn't have let us get sidetracked. I would have done the same thing, Alan. We all would. Look, if anyone's to blame, it's us. We just sort of got swept up in the moment. Swept up? That's it! Gordon, steer the ship back into the current. The strongest current you can find. I think I know what you're thinking, and I like it. our adventure wasn't over thanks for the lift mates we were bogged in deep back there just doing our job we left our ship parked in orbit if you could just drop us off on your way that'd be great before you go can i get your autographs <laughs> too right we'll do you one better how about a photo say elusive elusive <laughs> Glad you boys are safe. I can't wait to study the data that you collected while you were there. <laughs> hey, Gordon, thanks for having my back on this mission. That's what brothers are for. And Scott was right to put you in charge. You were a great leader. This calls for a celebration. <laughs> hey, hey, knock it off, Gordon. Stop. Stop it. You're getting cheese in my hair. Don't be such a baby. All I know is that after being cooped up with a slob like you, I'm more than ready for a little me time. I'm afraid that's going to have to wait. What? Why? Since you've been in c contact with alien life, you'll need to be qu quarantined for at least a month. What, a month? What are we supposed to do for a whole month? Oh, look! Buddy and Ellie just released the 13th season. I wonder if we're in it. Can life exist even in these hostile conditions? Today, I'll risk my life to find out. What? 